Hey, what's going on? It's Justin Dickmeyer from engineeringtrainingexam.com. And in this video, we will re review your understanding of the derivative. A derivative is the instantaneous rate of change of a function. When finding the equation of tangent lines, the slope of the curve f of x at the point a, f a, is equal to the derivative of f at a. When finding rates of change, the instantaneous rate of change of a function f of x, when x is equal to a, is equal to the derivative of f at a given by the general formula f prime of a is equal to the limit as h goes to 0 of f a plus h minus f of a divided by h. So this is our general formula of a derivative. So f prime of a represents the slope of the tangent line to the curve at a, or equivalently, the instantaneous rate of change of that function at a. Now there are a couple of ways for expressing the derivative of a function, but all mean the same thing. So we may see something like f prime of x, that's equivalent to say y prime, which is equal to also dy dx, or we may see it something like d dx of f of x. All these are equivalent, uh, but we'll be looking at the f prime uh, notation throughout this review. So let's look at an example here. Let's find the derivative of the function f of x is equal to 2x squared minus 16x plus 35. And let's use the general formula of a derivative uh, to determine what, what the actual derivative is of this function. So once again, f prime of x is going to be equal to the limit as h goes to 0 of f x plus h minus f of x divided by h. So let's just plug in our equation now and uh, determine this. Now there's going to be a lot of simplifying, a lot of rearranging, uh, a lot of uh, just simple math used to determine this uh, this function or this derivative. So it might get a little messy, but you'll see what uh, the results are at the end. So just plugging in our um, information, we got 2x plus h squared minus 16 x plus h plus 35 minus 2x squared minus 16x plus 35 all divided by h. So now multiplying everything out and distributing the minus sign through on the second term gives us a uh, limit as h goes to 0, uh, 2x squared plus 4xh plus 2h squared minus 16x minus 16h plus 35 minus 2x squared plus 16x minus 35 all divided by h. So we can go through this and continue to simplify, rearrange, uh, uh, eliminate uh, h's, but I'm just going to get to the very end, um, skip all that mess. We'll, we'll come down with f prime of x is equal to h 4x plus 2h minus 16 divided by h. Those eliminate, which we get... Uh, 4x plus 2h minus 16 and as h goes to 0 this term will be eliminated so we determine that the derivative of this function is going to be 4x minus 16. So that's how we can find the derivative obviously it's a long way but that's the way we can find the derivative of any function. So taking limits to find the derivative of a function can be very tedious and complicated as you see in this process. And for the most part we probably won't need to uh, during the exam. 
Luckily, we have general formulas or rules that make differentiating much easier, as well as a bunch of tables in our reference manual that were given during the exam. So let's just go over uh, the most general rules of uh, derivatives here. Let's start out with the constant rule. And the constant rule simply states that if a function is co a constant function uh, where f of x is equal to c, then that uh, derivative is equal to zero. So we all know that the derivative of a constant is zero. The next is the power rule. So if a f is a power function where f of x is equal x raised to the n and n is a real number, then f prime of x is going to be equal to n x raised to the n minus run. Now the constant uh, the constant multiple rule tells us that if f is differential is a differentiable function and c is a constant then s the derivative of that is equal to the constant times the derivative of f of x so that's the constant multiple rule uh, the sum rule the sum rule tells us that if f and g are differential functions then the the diff, the uh, derivative of two functions summing two functions that are summed is equal to derivative of f, f of x plus the derivative of g sub x and this is also equal uh, if it's a the difference rule is the same if these two functions are just f of x minus g sub x it's essentially the same we're just uh, subtracting now the derivative so f prime of x minus g prime of x so the product rule is the next one and the product rule states that uh, if f and g are differential functions then w and we have so we have two functions that are a product. The derivative of that is the first function, f of x, times the derivative of the section, second function, plus the derivative of the first function times the second function. So we got uh, the first function times the derivative of the second, plus the derivative of the first function times the first function or the second function g sub x. Uh, we also got the quotient rule. This states so say we have a function all right yeah a uh, function fx divided by g sub x the derivative of that is going to be the product rule so it's going to basically be f of x g prime of x plus f prime of x g sub x but we're going to divide that by the square of g sub x g sub x squared so finally there's the chain rule Now if we encounter a function composed of two other functions, we can use the chain rule to determine its derivative. For the two functions f and g, the composite function is defined as f composite g sub x, which is also equal to f g sub x. So the function g sub x is substituted for x into the f, into the f function. Now the train, chain rule states that if f and g are differential functions, then f is differential and, and the derivative of f is given by, and this is big F, not little f, let's say the derivative of big F is equal to the derivative of f g sub x times the derivative of g sub x. So that's the function that's the chain rule. So let's look at an example of using the chain rule. Let's say that we're given the function rz is equal to 
the square root of 5z minus 8. So the first thing we need to do is determine the two functions, in this case f of z and g of z. So f of z is going to be the square root of z, and g of z is going to be equal to what's in that square root, which is 5z minus 8. Now all we see in the chain rule is that we need the derivatives of those two functions. So we got f prime of z is equal to 1 divided by 2 square root of z. And g prime of z is equal to 5. So just plugging this information in uh, to our chain rule or to this general formula here of the chain rule, we get uh, f prime of g sub z, which is 5z minus 8 times g prime of z, which is equal to 1 divided by 2 square root of 5z minus 8 times 5. So this function right here is f prime g sub x, and this is sorry not not x g sub z and this is g sub z or g prime of z so that's essentially how we use the chain rule pretty pretty straightforward pretty easy uh, just takes a little bit of practice just to recognize what the two functions are within uh, the given problem once you figure out the two functions all you need to do is to, uh, find the derivative and then uh, just plug them in plug and play so before we uh, finish off this video, uh, let's just quickly review the derivatives of the six trigonomic trigonometric functions. That's the six trig functions. Sorry. So the derivative of sine of x is equal to the cosine of x. The derivative of cosine of x is equal to negative sine of x. The derivative of tangent is equal to the secant squared x. The derivative of the cosecant is equal to negative cosecant x and cotangent x. The derivative of secant x is equal to secant x tangent x and finally the derivative of the cotangent of x is equal to negative cosecant squared x. So those are our six trig functions and their derivatives. Those are just uh, quick references actually you'll find you'll more than likely find this in your reference manual uh, when you get it uh, for the exam but if you can memorize them it just makes it a little bit quicker uh, come exam day. So if the if if f prime is differential, say we have the derivative, if f prime or if the derivative of f is differential, we can take the derivative of it as well. The new function f double prime is called the second derivative of f. If we continue to take the derivative of of a function, we can find several higher derivatives. These higher order derivatives are seen often when working with motion application problems. The velocity of the particle or of a particle is the first derivative of the displacement function. The acceleration of a particle is the derivative of the velocity function or equivalently the second derivative of the displacement function. So it, uh, you know, in recap, if a derivative is, uh, is able to be differentiated as well, you can continue to do it until it, it pretty much differentiates out to zero. So that's all I got for you guys today. That's the quick recap of uh, different uh, derivatives. If you guys have any questions, hop on over to the website, engineerandtrainingexam.com. Shoot me some feedback, some suggestions. Uh, if you guys have any questions, don't hesitate to contact either. So until the next time, we'll be talking soon. Take care. Bye.